guys, so after all that cleaning and that whole entire mess, I mean, this was a different Ulta that I usually go to, so they are pretty savage and they really like to damage pretty much everything, so um, I'm going to show you what I got, but most of it, you know, is pretty much used or whatever, they squeeze a lot of it out um, or try to damage it the best that they could. So first, I want to show you something that they didn't damage, which is this uh, Poetic Waxing by Bliss. Um, I never even heard of this before, and I'm not the best at waxing, so I don't know. I didn't clean off the actual cup. I, I haven't cleaned it off yet because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, it looks like it's been used but I'm not sure. So that's the first thing. These don't, these don't look like they've really been used. There's still some like soup on there. They look pretty full though. Next thing I found was this Benefit um, eyebrow primer. And this one doesn't have the lid. Um, I'm not sure if it's in the box or not, but they did take most of everything apart. This one, I believe is a contour stick. I'm not really sure because the, the tag got all messed up where it says what it is and what shade it is and all that got damaged from all the soup when I was cleaning it off a little bit. Um, most of the stuff I haven't finished actually cleaning off. I just kind of wiped it down. Next thing is a Stilla Step 1 or One Step Correcting Serum. I've been wanting to try this for a long time, but they squeezed pretty much the whole bottle out. There's only enough for a couple uses, but that's fine because it at least tells me, you know, if I like it or not. The next thing I found is this Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I found a lot of these dumpster diving. This one is a light, medium, neutral. Feels like it's about like maybe a quarter full, maybe half full. So I gotta finish cleaning this off too. These next things I found are the NYX Butter Gloss. Um, this was in a box, but the box was souped, but these weren't. Um, two of them. Is it this one? Yeah, this one has been opened. Doesn't look like it's been used too much though because the wand's pretty clean and it's full. I think it's this one that's also been opened. Yeah. This one's been opened. Doesn't look like it's really And this is the one that is still sealed. It's never been opened. So this one is brand new. Never been used. And then I found this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade Cashmere 6. As you can see, there's not that much left. And also, Again, I don't have the lid for it. They kind of just probably opened it and poured it out. I don't know what they did with the lid. Maybe threw it in the dumpster. Not sure. Next, I found these Clinique Acne Solutions uh, Cleansing Gel. These two are the same exact thing. This is just a travel size, and this is the actual uh, full size. Obviously, they squeezed a lot of this one out, too. Um, and I still have to clean it off. It looks pretty gross right now. This is actually one of my favorite... Um, face washes by Clinique. So it was cool to find these. This one's full. It's just no lid, obviously. So I have to be careful with this one. And then right here we have a skin tone correcting oil-free moisturizer. This one's not brand new, but it's pretty full. It's full to the top. So it was probably tested, maybe used a couple times and then returned. It's a really, it's a pretty thick moisturizer too, so I really like that because I really like thick moisturizers. And then we have the IT Hello Light Cream. I believe this is a cream highlighter. And that's what it looks like. They scrape some of it out. A little bit of soup got in there. So I gotta finish cleaning that out. It's actually, um, really, really pretty though. I think it's kind of subtle. Go ahead and test it. up good on camera. 
I mean, it just kind of looks like glitter on camera. It's kind of a, like a really subtle highlight. Next we have the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. I was so excited when I found this palette because obviously it's still pretty new and also um, I don't have $54 to spend on this palette. So it was cool to find this so that I can kind of test out the colors, swatch them a little bit. Oh, I have that glitter all over my fingers now. But kind of like test out the colors and kind of play with them a little bit. Also I was really excited about, you know, they did scrape a lot of it out but there still is a ton of product left to where I can use it. And then if I want to sell it too, I could sell it for like $10 or maybe even cheaper, you know. So it's still pretty cool to have every shade there. They didn't completely take out the shades because this specific Ulta, when they damage, they usually damage pretty good and they, with palettes especially, they usually take out pretty much the whole, uh, all the colors, all the shades and they usually just completely damage it to where you have no product left in order to even try it. So I was pretty happy about finding this one. And the last thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture. This palette also, again, I was really excited about because it's new and um, with this one a lot of people have been complaining about it and on YouTube especially I've watched so many reviews of people saying that it's a horrible palette, it doesn't blend, um, it has a lot of fallout. So of course I would never want to spend um, you know, the $45 or $42, however much it is, for this palette if there's so many complaints about it, so finding it was really cool since I can test it for myself, see how it works, and not have to spend money on it. Then again, if I don't like it or if I want to sell it, I can go ahead and sell it. So here's the inside of this one, and again, it's really not that bad. Some soup did get in this one, so I have to clean it out really good. Um, it didn't really affect the colors. It didn't hurt the colors. And I can still clean it out better, kind of just scrape off where there's soup in it. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about when I say soup, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you do. But soup is just basically when they, the store employees, they pour shampoo, foundation, lotion, whatever they want to pour into like a mixture over the products that they're damaging. Um, just so that they can mark it as damaged and throw it out. Also so that you don't find this in the dumpster and then later return it to the store to try to get cash or try to get, you know, um, in exchange for something else of the same price when you didn't buy it. That's just their way of trying to, like, keep dumpster divers out thinking that, you know, you can't use it um, or you can't return it to their store because if you take this into the store, obviously they would know that this was thrown in the dumpster. But another thing that, you know, I think is funny is you can crush all of this up and you can dry press it um, or you could press it with alcohol too but that's more noticeable but you could dry press it and you can make this palette look pretty much brand new. One last thing, I wasn't going to put this in this video because it's it's empty and it's lip gloss so obviously I'm just going to put this in the trash but I was really excited finding this lip gloss until I realized that it was empty. When I found it, it was still in the box and I thought it was brand new wasn't souped or anything this was actually just sitting in the dumpster so I thought it was like a brand new thing so I grabbed it then I realized that it's empty so it was probably a tester all right everyone that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it um sorry there wasn't that much to really talk about in this video like I said this Ulta really does like to soup and destroy their products um so out of that whole entire box this was all I was able to salvage and um that was worth even trying to keep or clean so thank you so much for watching.